IPOB One Family IPOB One Family IPOB One Family One Family IPOB I thank all of you here gathered today. I am pleased to be in New York City and particularly impressed with the quality of people that I'm seeing here today. I am humbled. <laughs> Even my brother is here as well. Come, brother, come. He was with me in Israel. I can tell you that he is one of us. I'm very happy to see all of you. Very happy to see all of you. And also, Scott Berry is here as well. Is that correct? Yes. Good to see you. Good to see you. And all of you who have our moments as well. I believe we are live. Is that correct? Yes. We must proceed without further hesitation. Because today we will preach this gospel here in New York. Yes. It's so good to make a pass here back. Yeah, and he says so everything he did will be exposed to be here in New York. And I'm sure the whole world is listening, is that correct? Yes. 100%. So also is my deputy chairman for who will ensure that this very program goes out to the ends of this very end. Because after today, things will no longer be the same, my sure. Yes. We must proceed. Um, I'm sure you have a program. We will respect and adhere to our program here today. I believe that we have an MC, is that correct? Yes. Who will do the introduction of the principal servants, if I may hand over the microphone to the master of ceremony today. Is it Pete? Oh my goodness. Watch it again. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mazi. Mazi. I want to start. Uh, I'm so happy we are all here gathered here for this same occasion. We are. I have to follow the protocol to uh, see the recent introduction of the principal servants in New York and New Jersey. Aha. Uh -huh. um, what I will do is that I will hand you over to the coordinator the state of New York. Uh, he will introduce the rest of the principal officers. My name is Fion, because uh, sometimes <laughs> uh, this is easy to deal with one person, then let him take it over. So, Mazi is a question. Please. Introduce members of this is this is let me introduce me is Marzi is the coordinator, the state coordinator of New York. So let me introduce you. IPOB One Family. IPOB One Family. You're welcome to New York. Woo! Our leader is another great opportunity to have you in our midst. I remember last time you came. Last time we had we hosted you here on your way back, the zoo arrested you. So this is another opportunity to have you in our midst. And we appreciate your call. You're welcome. <laughs> I, you I want to use this opportunity to appreciate uh, you know the, how would I put it, the strong bones behind me, you know, the people that made this event to be as you see it today. I am the state coordinator of New York, as a person, David is my name, but I have other guys that work with me. My deputy is here, Mazin Mwadike, and the New Jersey, that is not up to how many months? New Jersey is how many months? Two months. Two months. Two months. <laughs> <laughs> uh, New Jersey State uh, Coordinator. 
and you guys appreciate it. New Jersey is just three months old. Three months. But they are doing great things. Can you say that? IBOB. IBOB. Well, yes, we are welcome. We appreciate your coming. Um, well, I can say that um, Mazi Zekwesi have said, I mean, what, uh, why we are here today. And um, I hope we are, everyone is glad to be here to see our Oye Ndu. So I'll hand over the microphone to Mazi Zekwesi. Thank you. Oh, no, I want to appreciate uh, Ichi Ezobu. He's a coordinator from Boston, Massachusetts. So we say hi to him. IBOB. 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 You're welcome. Thank you for being here with us. And God bless you. Thank you. If you're a coordinator here, can you go to some more coordinator? All right. I'll start now. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Pastor Thomas, can you please come and say hi to our people? And also, Mazero Queens. This is a Island coordinator, Pastor Thomas Kratos. In the name of Yahweh Thank you. IPOB. IPOB. Um, I'm really glad to be alive and to be here today because I think it's a great day, if not for you, for me. Because when I got into this movement, our leader was in the prison. So I imagine how can I see him? And seeing him today, I think we shall live longer. Yes. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Uh, Bronx coordinator, Manzi Okwebe, if you're not here, the pity come, go on there and follow the account. Manzi Okwebe, where's Okwebe? Then the boy Obina, you come here and say hi to our people. That's the bronze uh, deputy coordinator. Can you put your hands together for me? Israel, the God of Abraham, our great grandfather, 
God of Jacob. Their children have gathered from the east, from the west, from the north and south of this country. And they have come to hear your servant whom you have anointed and given to us. This is our Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. We never had a freedom fighting like this. And that's why many don't understand. They call him names. They have gone to kill him today by your supersonic power. You preserve him for us. So that the enemies in our lands shall be destroyed. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. They have gathered all the Islamic unclean, uncircumcised face things to fill our lands, to pollute it. They rape the women, they do all kinds of havoc to their own children. And I know from heaven right now you are hearing us. And you are watching us from the dead heaven. And I know you have never and you will never let us down. You have never sent anyone and disappointed that person. And we are glad and privileged to have your servant, the prophet of Biafra, Mazinam Dekano, who humbled himself to take the call to go and serve the whole of the children of Israel that live in their land. Even so, we commit everything we are going to do today. We want you to be the first and the last. We want you to be the leader. We know your hands are on this man. And we know you will never fail him. Yes, you never fail anyone. Yes, and you are not going to fail him. Yes, you are not going to fail IPOB. We are going to win this war. Yes, All our enemies shall be confounded. Yes, they shall be destroyed. Yes, In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Yes, we ask you, Lord, to reign. Let your wisdom, your knowledge be endowed on your servant as a minister. Speak through him. Minister to your people. Your people are stubborn. They don't listen. They don't hear us. The Lord, as he ministers to them, take control of his tongue as ever before. A whole person can speak to us. Our women are listening up. Our children are gathering together. Lord, they are waiting for you. We know you are going to fight this battle for us so that the enemies we know for the first, for the last time, they will never try to for again. They will never try the children of Israel. They will know that we have a covenant that no other person has. And we, you are going to prove it. You have done it in Biafra three places, three times or more. When the sun that represents Israel appeared on Biafra land, Father, the way of abandon get Israel, you put it on this man. Speak to us. The act of the government of Israel is resting on his shoulders. I give him over to you for supposedly protection. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. He said, Do it and have the glory. As I commit everything we are going to do here. Any enemy who disguises himself or herself and is here, confound them in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Yes. Any enemy, they, they will go back the way they care. Oh. For a second. Father, thank you for hearing us. In the name of Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus is about to pray. Yes. I be your be. That's your next Sunday. Oh, national anthem.
sit on your seat. You can do it from there. Focus on that. We have official photographer here if you don't get enough. Are there things sure they look? And uh, make sure that you get as many pictures as you want. We all want to take pictures too. Me too. <laughs> Everybody wants to know. Alright, the next the program it says presentation of calling out. Do our leader. But then RJ, I watch it. This award. You know, uh, sorry we have to speak it in our own dialect, the one of the dialects of Biafra language is the Igbo language. Igbo, Igbo is a language in Biafra and uh, fortunately or unfortunately they, they made it look like we are separate. No, we are the same people just that we speak different dialects. And this thing that they bring in there, they call it color notes. It doesn't speak English, it doesn't speak American English, it speaks Igbo language. That's the only thing he understands. <laughs> uh, so, Mazi, I never thought about you. go my mother, Oh, okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, I am a boy by Elsa Never. By Elsa. I never watched Okay, we're going to have a brand here. Okay. Okay. So, uh, okay. So, 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 So, I be around it also. <laughs> All right. Uh, Idoma. Do we have any person from Idoma? Ijo. I will not be when you put it ever. Okay, Lord Oh, my baby. Never. Okay. I said, I'm going to get it. 
Omo Biafra, on a new Bernora, oh, the Loya or an amma, the Walker Amma, the Wayan Amma, and the Mini and the Wars. Ona, he be a fuller. Kind of told you. Na handi biafra. Oga adro ya ora nama. Nje nje aga hebuai. Alela aga hebuai. Ihoma kai na yolisa. Iha ekunobi owa. Iha ekunobuto owa. We won't know why. Oni si. I seke le wega hada. I o kwani ndi neso ni nazo. I guess o chingike ne mo hunso bo owa. Iha na toje o kai wo ekelo yolisa. I had no banana, gentlemen, and the buy a can only a four. Unco, Yadro, or a namana, aha, to go up here, my believe. Oh, he said,
It says inauguration of the IPOB Women Week. One other bridges. One boom. Are you here? Could you please come forward and take the microphone and speak to your women?
So, our leader. Whatever you did for me that day and prayed for me, I want you to do the same thing to my fellow women. Because after your prayer, my life was completely changed. When I came back on the 1st of June, because when I was given this position, I said, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. Then it was Father Augustine that we met at Atlanta, here it is. He called me and said, you know where you will start? Go and let our leader pray for you. And after he prayed that prayer, that was a change. And ever since then, when I came back, I haven't stopped calling Father Augustine. Each time I will call him on the phone and I say to him, here is what I want to do, what do you want us to do? And he has been so supportive and helpful, and, uh, together with other priests that I have contacted. So I decided that whatever Omadike did for me, whatever he saw in me, is also in all you women here. So for that, Please, I would like you to come out with me. We want to dance. Because Mama DK is going to bless everybody, including those who are not here. Please, all women, can you stand and come, please? very, very hard 
working. And from the report that she gave me, she has found 15 new members. Can we give that a
right to our mothers. They have done it so well, and I trust that anything they get involved in is time to go. They time to move. Things will be moved. All right. Uh, next on the program, we have uh, our Reverend Father Austin. Could you please come here? Come on here, sir, and address us a few minutes and tell us uh, a few things, three words of encouragement. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Biafra. Oh, yeah, Biafra. IBOD. Oh, IBOD. Oh, yeah, you are most welcome. My name is Reverend Father Augustine Adin Mabwa. <laughs> Father Adin Mabwa is from Idem Mili Province, Oman Baba, Biafra Land. Um, what do you do? I hope you don't mind. Let me speak to our people on one issue. One issue. Um, I was making series of calls just for this occasion in New Jersey and New York. And uh, I got series of questions. Each time I would refer the person to come here and ask our own and do for the answer. But one came to me that I could not refer to him. And this one was one of my good friends asked me, Father, why are you in IPOB? Very serious. And I was like, why do you ask? Because as far as I know, IPOB means independent people of Biafra. <laughs> My apologies. Indigenous people of Biafra. When I say if I say people say independent people of Biafra, not if I never in the air, but to be independent of Nigeria. So, the guy, where's here? That's the one I know. Yes, the answer told me about because you, you know that IPOB was prescribed. I said, hmm, now you are talking. And he said so many things. So at the end, I said, I hope you don't mind if I ask you one or two questions. He said, no problem. I said, very good. Number one, I know your first name, I know your last name. Do you have a middle name? He said, yes, a very chairman. Actually, he said he has two. One from the father, one from the grandmother. And I said, very good. And you loved the names given to you by your parents. He said, yes, me too, I do. I said, now your parents are no more there. And the number one enemy of your family comes and tells you, forget about their parents, forget about Chima. I want to give you a new name. Uh, henceforth, your name will be Anekreja. I said, would you answer it? This is your number one enemy. Who doesn't want you to leave? And it's now he changes the name given to you by your parents and calling you Anekreja. Would you answer it? He said, no. He said, very good. Why would my enemy, the full and federal government, tell me that I'm a terrorist and I will accept it? Why should I do it? If you accept it and give it to you by your enemy, then you have given your enemy the moral authority to control you. And I told him that when your enemy says you are a terrorist, you should turn around and tell him he is a devil's incarnate. Give him a more serious name. That's how, that's how you counter such an idiotic uh, 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 semantics. 
I said, but aside from it, I said, do you know why IPOB was prescribed by the federal government? That so he doesn't know. I said, okay, we are, you are discussing now. IPOB was prescribed. Let's just pay attention. Not because of these young guys who are protesting on the streets of Biafra land. IP, IPOB was prescribed precisely to get the prominent people of Biafra. As simple as ABC, because that is the system of Fulanese. What? DSS will just knock at their door. Sir? This is your ID from DSS. What did I do? When we get to the office, you will tell you. And then you get to the office, they tell you you are sponsoring a terrorist organization. And they can fabricate anything. And before you know it, they do away with you. You are gone. And they will continue like that until they pick all the prominent people in the Afro land. Then they have succeeded. It's not because of the young people on the streets. I told him, look, I studied social justice and peace at Fordham University here in New York, up to PhD level. So I perfectly understand the signs and symptoms of genocide. I perfectly understand the signs and symptoms of ethnic cleansing. I perfectly understand the signs and symptoms of religious cleansing. I know that these guys are making a, a terrible move to finish us. Then I told him, you are here in the US, you are very successful. You may think, okay, when they are killing the problem people in the, in, the, in the upper land, you may feel I'm fine, I'm comfortable here. I see what happens if when they finish with the prominent people in the, the Afro land and they change the name of Nigeria to Federal Islamic Sultanate of Nigeria and they change the name and change the passport and then when you go to change your new, get a new passport they tell you if you don't answer a Muslim name you are not getting a passport I say what do you do you are in abroad so you no more come home. You no more go home. We need to understand the signs and symptoms of these things when they are coming. Like our parents will tell us, "Onye gueruniku, ebo ine kisa ingo bwa ingo bwa ingo bwa ingo taro." Omba kwa lani ho. Iwe kote ifa na guaju. The full of these have given us all the signs and symptoms of where they are coming from, where they are, and where they are going. And we have refused to adhere to them. Despite the fact that the God sent man, the Kano, who saw this long time ago, when the symptoms were coming, he was hammering towards. And many of us felt that we are insulated from the problem because we are thousands and thousands of miles away from home and we could care less. I told the guy again, another reason why I joined IPOB is this. When the three most important institutions in my life are under threat, I have no option but to fight like there's no tomorrow. My family is under threat. They gave me life. My community, which is Biafra land, is under threat. Biafra gave me identity. Our people say, My king dread, my family, my community gave me identity. And then as an adult, I have committed my life to serve the church. Even the church is under threat. I say, why would you, why, how, um, how comfortable would I be, I be sitting back the three most important institutions in my life, my family, my community, my church, are under threat of extinction. And you expect me to sit back and be saying the rosary alone. You must be, I didn't tell him this, but I said, it is difficult for me to accept. 
that this is time for me to fight, if not for anything, to defend these institutions. And finally, I told him, why I joined IPOB is that after the Python dance in 2017, we all came to New York to march. And I counted the 17 priests who came that day. Three of my friends drove from Toronto, Canada. They came for that marching, and after that they went back. The same day, they just came for the marching. And after the Python dance, I told him, my friend, I was getting depressed. I was hearing of depression, I never experienced it until that time. Because I was like, this is an area I studied. And look at what is happening to my people. What can we do? What can I do? I had no idea what to do. I called up my friend, Nepal I said, tell, get me, connect me to the World Evil Congress. I want to know what they are doing. Because this thing cannot continue like this. Through uh, uh, Dr. K. Liebe, we were able to reach out to the World Evil Congress, the executives, to have a meeting it was difficult. My friend was willing to pay for the executives because they live all over the place to come so that we have a meeting and figure out what to do. It wasn't possible. And I was asking around, what can be done? Until I met a friend of mine who introduced me to Mazen and speeches. After listening to him, my mind started becoming black. I was already, I was already gone. And then, eventually, through my friend, Simeon Eganyong, I got wind of IPOB in New York. I told him, I am going to New York to register. I will be coming from New Jersey to New York. And then after we did it for a couple of months, we said, you know what? We are going to have our own New Jersey IPOB. <laughs> My dear brothers and sisters, sister, let me tell you this. You have to, you have to. Nobody deceives him or herself. If you are not aware of what is happening back to back home now, you must be out of the mind. Let me tell you this. Since I joined the IPOB, my mind relaxed. Why? Because, you know, there is nothing as bad as you go to the hospital, they run all the tests. Nobody knows what you are suffering from. Nobody knows how to help you. You are helpless and hopeless. But once you get somebody who tells you there could be a way out, what happens? Healing starts from that moment. I started getting my spiritual, moral, and, and physical healing the moment I joined IBOB. Because I started getting the sense. I started getting the sense that the hope is not lost. Yes. That there is always a silver line at the end of the tunnel. Yes. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, I'm not advising you to join IPOB. I am comfortable that I love it. I don't know about you. But guess what? If you are gathering all the junks that are in the social media, from Facebook, from Instagram, all this is, the whole thing is pounding on your head. The more you gather all these things, the more you get confused. But when you get to IPOB, IPOB will begin to sort things out, give you the clarity of how, where we are going, the hope that is there, and the hope that is not there. It is helping me, and since then, I have been a happy man, and nobody, I repeat, nobody can stand on my way in doing whatever it takes to be a member of IPOB.
Yes, that was good. That was very, very good. That was wonderful. That's that's the way. Most of us felt that way. Yes, uh, some of us are fortunate that uh, we. I wouldn't say we joined the IPB early enough. No. At first, my same brother was always bothering me. Listen to this man. I said, I've heard all that from our I don't want to bother. I said, brother, please, please, I know you just listen. And I started listening. You know, it's like I got addicted. Every day I will listen, every day I will listen. But I never thought about joining IPOB. I was only listening to Mazi. I had a free listening. Until one day I didn't hear his voice and I asked my brother, ah, what happened? Ah, the, the, the Mazi Kano is not talking today. He said, no, sometimes he allows Uche Mofa to do the talk. I said, okay. And I kept listening. Then Uche Mofa announced that our leader had been arrested. I said, oh, arrested? Yeah, the DSS arrested him in Nigeria. I called my brother and said, I want to join IPOB. Because this is the time. Now, if they arrested him, it means somebody's listening to him. He's not just rabble rabble. He's angry that he's talking. So we got him. So that meant it's a serious thing, so I have to join. That's how I became a member of IPOB. I will remain there forever, no matter what anybody says. All right, we have to call off my brother, another brother of mine here, Mr. Evans. I'm going for us to come up here to the podium, please. Evans, are you there? Yes, he has to speak to us, talk to us about uh, Council of Health and uh, Veterans. Yes, let's give him time to speak before I will hand the microphone over to our leader to, to do some talking for us. I know a lot of us are waiting. We are ready to ask questions. Write it down because when you get here, you forget. <laughs> All right. IPOB. One family. IPOB. One family. One family. IPOB. Major Gare. Good day, Gare. He will get to him to hit him. And I can actually stay where you are. Um, actually, only the road broke, but I will mark the chain the chain. Uh, on behalf of the veterans, they will go to Africa. And then they will go to the end. I should make a lane. One of them will the flag to continue the struggle. And on behalf of the Spring Council of Elders, I will be in the customary government. And Nigeria, they will represent the day. Um, United States and Europe. I should make it learn. Here, ma, when you shift, para, ni kunyo ni pu. Ni kwechi kwa why nda usabu awa blaye overrun. Ni kwechi kwechi. Oh, because we enter no dia. Na lusho mwako. Oh, mwako hivi. Tum tum tum. Watu wa gishi na wa kunene. Because of them, they are losing their lives. The IPOB or your Because if I get a Rona, he made you. I'm not allowed to ask Nigeria, but I'm not allowed to ask you said you can pardon the IPOB. If live in Namuna, pro Biafrans, pro Biafran groups, we are all saying the same thing. And I am going to go to the Nola Nova. You have a mother named the Carl. Because when you have a good and perform and do your duties. So I perform on behalf of the Biafran uh, veterans. Now I spread out to our builders. People, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. They will. Thank you very much. All right, uh, we'll see you moving on. This time I have to call the yeah. New Jersey coordinator of New Jersey, please. If you have wanted over here five minutes, come and speak on behalf of your people before we continue. There's a presentation that they wish to do, so over to you. IPOB, 
I had the impression that I was coming to see only our people in New York. But as I came here, the added bonus of New Jersey has uplifted my spirit and my soul. And I am overjoyed. Overjoyed. And the same way that this very spirit moved around some of you in New Jersey, so do I pray that it will move across the 50 states here in the United States of America. Yeah. Only two things are holding us. I think we've solved the first one. Our mothers are now coming out. The next one is that this gospel of redemption must permeate every society, every community where our people are domiciled in this great country. Because Chuko Kikabia will give us Biafra. But those of you in USA will lead us to it. That is your responsibility. Thank you very much once again, Jesse. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Hamadike. All right, all right, New Jersey. New Jersey. Aha. Us now, one, one, two, one, two, dite. Okanaya. Yes. All the motor is very good. I'm very impressed. I'm very, very impressed. Okay, this time, I want to remove it, okay? We have to, I know many of us here, so we got to hear who you see say something. Just me too. I brought us also no one. I read you here, recording everything. So, to be a still played, uh, you know, recorded program from Radio Biafra, USA too. We are here hosting our leader today. So, uh, right now, I have to present the microphone to our leader for the gospel of the day. Mazi, your time. Presence today because she's a very strong lady. 
And we must commend her for what she's doing. Because she is one of us. And in IPOB, there are Biafrans. In IPOB, there are agitators. But when we say that somebody is one of us, it means that they are faultless. It means they are resolute. It means that their spirit is indestructible. It means they only have one vision. That vision is to restore Pia from nothing else. That is why I commend her to all of you. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. As we continue to wait, I want to acknowledge Jack, of course, and then we must proceed to preach this very gospel as I have been mandated in spirit to do. I am here to cure many diseases. All the Even himself was born again to join IPOB. <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't start this way, I will preach. But I will go to start from the back to begin to lay a very credible foundation as to all the unfounded allegations and innuendo against this very great family, the greatest of its kind anywhere on the face of the earth. We are the largest mass movement in the whole world by now. Only I do you do. Somebody heard something. I am sure some of you invited some people and they gave you excuses out of fear and cowardice. What they are saying has no justification, but what they want to do, is that which they will continue to do, is to allow their prejudice to overcome them. Because what you have accomplished, what IPOB New York has done, what IPOB New Jersey has done, what IPOB USA is doing is something that they themselves can never do. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. And because of that, because they cannot do it, they have to look for a way to try to discourage others from joining. To try and destroy it. But they cannot. Because this is a divine project. Before I came here, I asked our sister Nen Nayanya, I am still on the defense fund. Defense fund down in Quebec, I'm still on it. Nehu na demba na sona banyo, so yoka ya juo ya dotu ye na wako muo, oka mucho yi tiye na microwave mwa mwa ye. How many of you here have paid defense fund? I want the camera to capture it, please. How many people here pay the defense fund? I have the list here. I have the list. Oh, I have the list. Because I have the list with me. Before you raise your hand up. This is our dues. Now pay for defense fund. Now pay for defense fund. Now pay for paid for defense fund. In America. I asked the men I am before I came here. I don't refer to my own when I'm preaching. But I have to today because it is an exception and it was sent to me. In the whole world, 50 countries out of the 88 where we are domiciled responded. And in total, the 
The amount we contributed towards our defense fund is one hundred and fifty-eight thousand four hundred and six euros and forty-seven pence. What do you call pence in euro? Is it cent? It is here from our computer printed. I said one hundred and only. This is not up to the amount we used to chase away Fulanese from Anam. Those billions and billions they've been lying to you about, trying to discourage you from saving yourselves. It is here. And how much did the USA pay? Somebody here should know. How much did the USA pay towards our defense fund? Two thousand something. Two thousand seven hundred and seventy-eight. <laughs> but the greatest gossipers are in America. The greatest peddlers of lies and deceit they are here. Here in America. The same way they lied to my brother Scott Berry. Lied to him about me. Somebody who was in prison. You know when you lie and lie against somebody who is in prison for your sake, God will never forgive you. Yes. All that defense fund, do not forget. Those that did not pay for defense fund are those talking about it. Today you have compared me to tell Fulani that you have no money. Now they know. Then I will be here and I will talk about what I'm searching and I'm searching and I will talk about. You can now see it. 2,778. All of USA. And then I'm going to defense fund. And do you know the funniest thing? With the exception of defense fund one. Yeah, we did. We did. We did. We did. Give, give me that phone again. The government name, what is the government name? Go confirm one. I have no secret if you know me. I tell you the truth always. That is why I'm alive. Chukwa Biyama said, if you speak the truth always, I will preserve you. That is why I read the longest psalm in the Bible, Psalm 119, every night. I have been reading it consistently for five years, without fail. As long as you remain truthful, there is no plan from the enemy that will prevail against you. I have come to New York. I went to Atlanta. I went to Los Angeles. So I traveled to Houston. I went to Chicago. In between, I went to Toronto in Canada. And I'm in New York. Why don't you ask yourselves, where are those gossipers, Kevin Hammond? Where are they? They have come up with a new one. The new one is that her APOB was uh, proscribed. Or uh, that we are a terrorist group. As our reverend said, somebody told him that we are proscribed. And they said these people are educated. They're in America, they're enlightened. And yet some people cannot reason properly. The full army that declared IPOB a terrorist group. Why haven't they declared Fulani Headsman a terrorist group? Do you know that Boko Haram has not been designated a terrorist group? Are you aware of that? Yes. Do you know? Yes. But IPOB was designated a terrorist group because they know that some of you are cowards. You think they're not easy? Britain is the one advising them. Britain knows that a majority of our people in America are cowards. Once you say no, the candidate is a terrorist, they will no longer support him. Because they will be afraid. 
If they travel home, they'll be arrested. Who told you that? But nobody likes to be arrested if you travel because you're in IPOB. Who told you that? Because they know that you are fearful. We say that Yorubas are cowards, but we are the greater cowards. We hide behind every reason not to support a great movement like this. Every reason in the world we manufacture. Go, go, see, I want you to do it. Oh, can you put on a bomb? Bah, what I told you. Oh, what I will be a man. Support. Now they are called terrorists. But the foreigners are killing you every blessed day. As the reverend said, the church is under attack. Some of you go to churches. Don't you? You go to different churches. One for Biafra, a government church to be your back. Shame on you. You name a boy. Anybody that goes to a Yoruba church should be ashamed of himself or herself. I didn't say you shouldn't marry them all. Or buy them to the back. I said they are church. And do you know why? Do you know why you shouldn't go to their churches? Because they were all former Muslims, all of them. I said all of them. Do you know the meaning of all of them? Every known Yoruba preacher was born a Muslim. But they used their media preponderance, their excessive representation within the Nigerian media space to convince you the same way they convinced you now that talking about rape is more important than talking about foreigners coming to your villages to kill you. They manipulate your brains. They make you think that miracle is only possible in Yoruba churches. And then you go there. And what do you come with? That's all you do. Is everything okay? Because we are Bia friends and we always will behave. I'm going to go to the meeting and go see about what? Is anybody here not aware that Fulanis are in our villages? Who here doesn't know? Is there anybody here who does not know that Fulanis are in our villages? And who do you expect to fight them? If you get a small hunger from America, can you fight them from New Jersey? Can you fight them from New York? Can you fight them from Chicago? Who are the people on the ground fighting Fulani today in Biafalan? Anybody that gossips to you from today on was asked that one simple question. Why were you not at the town hall meeting to ask this ridiculous question now? Some people don't appreciate the level of sacrifice that needs to go into any freedom fighting movement before liberty can be assured. Some of you are in America, but you don't know American history. This land you're seeing today flowing with milk and honey, people fought for it. And do you know why Elohim said to Moshe, that is Moses, by the way, I have given you this land for free. But you must fight for it. Do you know why? So that the children of God will not be people of superstition. Because if you go to the land for free, 
Anytime you ask for something else, you, you, you think you come for free. Isn't it? That is the basis for superstition. The witch has no place in the life of a true believer. I don't believe in superstition. I believe in reality. That thing that we can do for ourselves. And I say it with every degree of authority. As I say everywhere that I go to. That without IPOB, without IPOB, they will take you, there is nothing you can do about it. You know, I'm going to say, Mary's a hamburger. <laughs> and our land will be gone. And who do you think will save you? Or will the Hanese save you? No. That's right. Will they save you? No. People say, oh, they're intelligent. Hebrews are very intelligent. Our peer friends are very intelligent people. Two fundamental mistakes we have done in our time. Maybe that is why God is angry with us. If you know you cannot do what IPOB is doing, if you know you cannot do what Namdekan is doing, stay by the side and appreciate them. to override your sense of reasoning. Some people get up in the morning, they see how well IPOB is doing, in the evening they form an association. In two weeks time they tell you, oh come let's unite. Let's unite with who? What have you done before? Who the matter with we are uniting with. Can you come to New York and call for a town hall meeting and the hall will be filled like this? Why don't you come and join us? Why must you be outside seeking for relevance? Asking us to come and I don't know what they call it. Because inside us we have all the deadly seeds of jealousy, envy, and it is very, very destructive. That is why Igbo men or Hanese, they are told my coach, can sit down there and allow IPOB that is not carrying any weapon to be proscribed. We are as full of new heads men that are killing us can come into our land and we are now negotiating with them which portion of land to give to them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes. Are you aware that Fulanis are killing people? Are you aware that Christians are dying and they are being killed? Yes. Are you aware that Jews are dying and being killed? Yes. Are you aware of it? Yes. Have you heard of anywhere that IPOB went to sack a community to kill the people there? No. But Igbo men, Igbo men, Igbo, sat down and decided that it is better for their political careers for IPOB to be proscribed for them, they cannot be killed. Do you know why I say this thing wherever I go to? Because we will not forgive them. I am saying it now. If you are going to cry for them, start crying from today. We will not forgive them. They will pay very dearly for their betrayal of our people. Everything I have told you has come to pass. Every, you know that Chuko Kikabiyama is marvelous. I am telling you the truth. If God 
God doesn't love Ethiopia and what we are doing, how come everything we say in exact precision happens exactly like that? I told Nigerian Bar Association when I was in jail, I said to them, I have been given two unconditional releases from the court and the you people refused to put pressure on the government using your good offices to compel them to release me from prison. That one day, this same government will come after you. Go and ask them. And my powerful sign the press statement that was, it was published. Go and Google it. Everything I tell you, you can Google it as if it is true or false. And uh, I said to a lawyer, if you fail to compel the courts to prevail on the Attorney General of the Federation to order my release, given two outstanding court judgments, that you will suffer for it. Ask him, and he was removed. As he just this grace that the government will remove. This grace that the government. The same thing I told Ogorocha and his friends. <laughs> that shame shall befall them. And you know how they play their politics in the zoo. He contested for Senate, isn't it? Yes. And he rigged himself into power as they normally do. Yes. And they will tell the certificate. Yes. And they raised this up for him, yes. doing it like this. Do you want it? He will say, yes, yes, I want it. They said to him, go and denounce Ibo presidency in 2023. We'll give it to you. And the idiot gladly agreed. that you have been reduced to begging for what should rightfully belong to you. And there was a statement they issued today again. Do you know what they said? In fact, if you're in Nigeria, raise your hand up here, please. They gave me a hand up. I don't know what they gave me a hand up. I don't know what they Of Fulani cattle headers. Yes. The, the worst is that they didn't go to school. Never. They are migrants into the zoo called Nigeria. Yes. They are not even indigenous to the place. Oh. And they have gone across the left and breadth of northern part of the zoo. Yes. They have opened their borders yes. for their fellow Fulanese to come from Mali to kill you in your towns and in your villages. That your land may be taken over. Don't believe what I'm saying. Go and ask the Togolese president. He said it yesterday. Togolese president said it yesterday. And this morning, Fulani people said openly, no Christian can ever become the president of Nigeria. Offer in the open. Is in Vanguard, is in Vanguard or Punch today? And some of you say you're Nigerians. Oh, we won't support IPOB. But America will not save you. Because you will have nowhere to go to. And let me tell you something about white people and how they reason. Once they know you have nowhere to go to, you're in serious trouble. Do you know that? Jews we are killed in Europe, even during the Spanish Inquisition, right up to the very awful above Hitler. They were killed because they felt that European Jews had nowhere to go to. The same thing shall befall you. And to make matters worse, I've been praying over this and saying to Chukwukeka Biaman, do you want to destroy us? Because people going through what we are going through today and have consistently refused to reason.
there must be. That's destruction, isn't it? Yes. 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 You are an endangered species. I'm telling you the truth. No amount of warfare you dance outside can save you. No amount of village meeting you hold outside can save you. No amount of a world abroad can save you. The only way you can sustain your relevance is by making sure that the land you come from is liberated and free. Some people think that Yorubas will fight. Is that correct? <laughs> eh? yes. Will Yoruba fight? No. Yoruba no. Eh? No. And do you know why they will not fight? Their reason is twofold. And let me tell you the truth today. Everybody in that devil's creation called Nigeria, when they talk about one Nigeria keeping Nigeria one is for a reason. They know that without Biafrans, this thing that Fulanese are doing is like picnic. They will stop all of them. All of them will go. So we are their insurance. We are their insurance in that zoo called Nigeria. Us. Europa would not want Nigeria to divide because if Biafra goes, Fulani will come and live in Lagos and take the army of Lagos now. Yes, uh, yes now. That's the army of Lagos. Can they talk? Because half of Yoruba is Muslim. Understand this very well. And as every Muslim knows, your allegiance is to Saudi Arabia and Iran. And if you are in the zoo and you are from Yoruba land and you are a Muslim, your primary allegiance lies with the Sultanate in Sokoto. Do you know that the Sultan is the head of Muslims in the zoo? Yes. Do you know that? Yes. Do you know that no Yoruba man can go and hold Juma prayers on Friday in the north? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, they don't even know that. Yeah. No Yoruba a man can walk into a mosque in the north of the zoo and conduct prayers. Yes. Impossible. Mm -hmm. But they are confident remaining as slaves to the following. Because of their fear of an evil man. Maybe because we are blessed. I say to the people that the Jews of Europe went through the same thing. God in his infinite mercy will keep on blessing their friends. You know, Chico Kikapiama can be angry with us as much as he likes. But because his world is here and amen. Once he has given you a blessing, he cannot take it back. Yes. Are you following me? Yes. Once you are under the special anointing of heaven as we be are, it can never be taken back. That we shall continue to suffer until we discover who we are and remedy some of the nonsense that the creation of Nigeria has brought us into. Who created Nigeria? Who created the zoo? Is Lugar from Olu? Is Lugar from Zamfara? Is Lugar from Obomosho? Now, can you tell me the reason why Africans are defending something that they did not build? When they call you a slave, you shouldn't blame them. They are right. Something I would have prayed, but I won't say it because kids are here. It's for adults only. Can you tell me the reason why you allowed people to come from Europe into your land 
to tell the name to answer. Can you explain that to me, please? Is India developed? Yes. Is India developed? Yes. Is Japan developed? Yes. Is Singapore developed? Yes. Is Malaysia developed? Yes. How about um, common Philippines? Are they developed? Yes. Do you know one thing they have in common? They are proud of their heritage. They are proud of who they are. Because some people see us the way we are. With our kippa and our talent, and they say they are taking us to Israel. That we are not Jews. And uh, what I'm saying to you today was exactly what I said to the students of Tel Aviv University when I gave a lecture there last year, November, if I'm not mistaken. And I said to them that the only place on this earth, the only place in the whole world that lends credence to the assertion that the Jews were in Egypt is only in Biafra land. I repeat, the only place no one in where there is verifiable proof and evidence that Biafrans, or should I say that Jews we are in Egypt is only in Biafra land. And they asked me why. I said because the same dwarf pyramids you have in Egypt, you have in the United States. Some of you don't know what a pyramid is. But my own pyramid in Egypt. Do you know the level of scientific knowledge that has to go into the construction of one pyramid? The exact measurements that accompanies it, are you aware of it? Those things are where you come from. It is not in Israel, not in Ethiopia, not in Eritrea, but in Biafra land. You have forgotten that we had a temple in Arochuku. They come to you, they like to you, they tell you you know me. As the white man told you, or asked you to believe, our temple was there to worship one true God in heaven. That's why it's called Arochuku. Yeah, there are other lesser cheese, is that correct? Yes. A way chuku? Is that true or false? Chin ke kasati chili name, is that not correct? Yes. You are from Chuku, is that correct? I hope you're not going to Yoruba church. <laughs> we are the original children of heaven. That is why we are all blessed. That is why you can come to America and become, without missing words, the most advanced ethnic group here in America. Is that true or false? <laughs> so you think you did it out of your own sheer strength? It's because God is with you. Wherever you go, is that not what it says in the scriptures? I will bless you. Is that not correct? But let us not turn our blessing into stupidity. That is why you must rise up to support IPOB. That is why you must do everything within your powers to ensure that Biafra comes. Because without Biafra, you are nothing. The same way it happened to the Jews of Europe, so shall it be with you if you don't do something now to arrest this very ugly situation. Because the Fulanese have come. Will, do you think Omahi will defend you? No. Therefore, Omahi, will he defend you? No. Will Okazi Basu defend you? No. Will Okazi defend you? No. Who can defend you? Who can defend you? I be happy. Who can defend you? I be happy. What's in that case? The only reason why they came to kill me was because evil were men we are behind it. Without the support of all these men, they would have been. 
Do you think those people that died don't have mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers like yourselves or children? They are not all young people. There were old people amongst those that fell. That is why we will not forgive nor forget. There will be retribution. If you represent the interest of all these corrupt criminals, tell them that I said in New York that there will be... Oh, There are elders here. I'm talking to me with my mother, the Moses, and I'm going to We're saying we're going to be okay. Big one. How many of you here asked the governors why they sent people to come and kill us? How many of you here? Only one person at the back. Why can't you ask these people why they decided to come and kill us? Those who are fighting for you for your survival as a race. Fulani have told you you cannot produce a president. They did not find you fit to occupy any sensitive position in the zoo. They have come for your land as well by force. And all the money that fuels the economy of that damnable zoological republic comes from Biafra land. What else are you looking for to convince you that you're not in Nigeria? Is there anything special you're looking for? Or are you waiting for Peter to be confirmed as vice president? What are you waiting for? I have a feeling and a suspicion that some of you in America wants our race to be distinct. I'm telling you the truth. My feeling tells me that some of you here in America, you hate yourself so much that you want the race of Biafra to be obliterated from the face of the earth. Do something. Do you think the flag will stop coming? Do you think they will stop coming one day? If they are not as soon as they get there, stop coming. Do you think so? What are we going to do to stop them? What are we going to do to stop them? Defend our land. Fight back. Are we going to fight them? Yes. Are we going to fight them? Yes! Are we going to fight them? Yes! Are you prepared to do all it takes? Yes! yes. Are you prepared to do what it takes? Yes! There are two things you have to do. And the one, I have given you a very long date or calendar. Have you said your have you secured appointment for the third of July to March in Washington? Not yet. Have we secured it? Not yet. Have we, have we applied? Yes, sir. We're working on it. Is there any reason why all of you cannot come to Washington no. July the 3rd, 2020? No. Any reason? Oh, what are you doing? Is anybody here who's unemployed? Are uh, there are people here who are unemployed. Now, how come in America? I believe everybody is working. Yes. Can you take time off work? Yes. Can you take holiday one day at least off work? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Can you take two days off work? Yes. Oh, after one week time. <laughs> in America. Yes. Oh, my dear. Yeah, long <laughs> time. <laughs> 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 so you do four, five, six jobs. So if you take a day on number one job, how about number two and number three? So we can take two days off 
Yes. Hundred percent. Starting from today, because the whole world is listening to this very broadcast, we're going out live. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. The whole world is listening, and we will be coming from all over the world. Yes. To America. The rights you enjoy today in America can be distilled down to only one episode in the history of this country. That very march on Capitol Hill led by the very gallant and late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. That is why you have jobs in America. That one single march. And with our own single march, which we know will surpass that very march. Not only will Biafra be free, but the whole of Africa will be free, I show you. Yes, I don't know what Washington will look like that very day. But I know that there are some of you that will write to the U.S. government and ask them not to allow us to come in on the 3rd of July. Before I came here, some of you were receiving WhatsApp messages and emails. Is that correct? Since I've come, are you still receiving those messages? We are prepared to do everything humanly possible to restore Biafra. We have sacrificed in the past. We shall continue to sacrifice until Biafra is restored. And we are not rich. Everything I am wearing here, including these glasses, was given to me by IPOB family members. The reason why I said is that whilst you may have need for money, I don't. I have no need for a car. I have no need for a bicycle. I have no need for a mansion. Because the greatest mansion in so far as I'm concerned I have no savings. I have no savings. I have only one bank account with Lloyd's CSB in England. Go and ask them. Because my covenant is with God in heaven. Any day I abandon Biafra, any day I dream of abandoning Biafra, if God does not wipe me out with my family, I know he is not God. I is a challenge to God in heaven. Thank you. And uh, having said that, 
I thank those who organized this. The New York and New Jersey, USA, IPOB. This great family. I am a miscreant. The man that called us that name is today a greater miscreant than we are. They disguise what we have been telling them year after year after year after year that the Fulanis will come. They will take your land. They will destroy you. Nobody bothered to listen. They said I'm looking for trouble. That I want to start a war. I saw hate speech. A war against hate speech. By Usubanja, I remember very clearly. They call it hate speech. When Fulamis are killing you, it is called love killing. When they destroy your farm produce, treat them with love and render asunder your means of livelihood, it is a um, love walk yeah. through the farm. Treat them with love. Do you want to remain in Nigeria? No. No. I am asking the people here in New York City, do you want to remain in Nigeria? No. That is a way we can do it. And I have. Because some of you love lies. I will not go and say, ask. Understand it very well. We might not see you as well. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. I hate lies and lies. If I come to the U.S. to see IPOB family, I will tell you in the open that every other substantive meeting that I may have with those that matter that can move our cause forward, I will not tell you in public. For every picture that you see us take and tweet, there are 20 more that we cannot do it. I will talk about Anybody who brings lies and deception into Biafra liberation, lies will follow you all the days of your life. Somebody said, we are finding it difficult joining IPOB. 
Because we don't know what will happen to us when we die. I said, do you know you're talking about time to be? The person said yes to me. And I said to them, or to him in particular, what you should worry yourself about is will your entire town contain us when we come? Can they contain us when we come? Have you seen IPOB match before the road? Back home? Uh -huh. I don't think so. When we march, the mountains vibrate. Yes, sir. Oh, but no, I can't. It's not so free. I can't imagine. I know me that's you. When those people march towards the north, I give you 14 days and the zoo will no longer exist. I assure you. Some of you in America have the same attitude. I preached this, I think it was in Chicago, that made slavery possible. That slavery was made a reality in the life of men is because of your attitude. This same attitude some of you are portraying. And that is why I have preached it before. That it appears that when the whites say that they are superior, that they are correct. Who helped me preach the video? Yes. When white people say they are superior to blacks, I believe them that they are. Do you know why? They don't reason the way we do. They don't. When this country was under attack, by the same Britain, did they fight Britain or not? Do you know that those that fought Britain were British people? Yes. That came here to live a life of you know, peace and equality amongst men. They fought. We are not even asking you to fight. We are not even asking you for your money. We are asking you for something that will not cost you anything Simple moral support you cannot give. What type of person are you? Am I recruiting you to go back home to go and fight? No. I'm ready. Some of you think that one day you rise up and you go home and your village will still be there. Who told you that ever they can? They are in a hurry. They need to run now. Listen to me carefully. They need to round up very, very quickly. They have three and a half years to complete it. After that, they will hand over to Atiku. By that time, families and your villages. They will say, oh, why are you complaining? But P2B, your brother, is the vice president now. So why are you complaining? Are you following me? The day it happens, you go to New York. What I'm telling you is what is going to happen before it happens. Are you going to allow your things to turn over from you? No. Will you allow it? No. Who are those that fought? 67 to 70, or maybe you joined later. Uh, just raise your hand up. Don't stand up. Just raise your hand up. Do you know that you are alive today because of them? Yes, sir. Yes. Do you know that? Yes. How many do not know? Because of the war they fought, that is why you are alive. I will tell you their plan. Do you see what is happening in the middle of now? How they slaughter entire communities. Have you seen it? That was their plan. To kill everybody up to the age of 10. Then they now groom them to become good Muslims. You don't know that? 
These men, some of them, our fathers, fought and fought and fought and fought until go on accepted the terms of no victim of punish. You must understand this. So whenever you see a veteran, they are your savior that you're seeing that same moment. Yes. And I call them the greatest army the world has ever seen. Because if you can fight Britain, Russia, Egypt, OAU, and the lukewarm attitude of, should I say, collaboration, conspiratorial, I hasten to add, of the USA, then you deserve every accolade that you get. I assure you. Nobody was able to do what we have done for three whole years to fight against the whole world and the prejudice. Sadly, those things that our parents fought and died for, some of you are carrying today. Why do you think we did not receive any help during the war? Bulgaria told Chief Justice P.K. Mokeri to his face that what Japan is enough, they don't want another one. Who here knows the late Justice Peter Mugget of the Supreme Court? He was our special envoy to the communist countries in mid to far east of Europe. He went to look for help. Do you know what that thing taught me? The, way, the day he told me this in Enfield, in London, I asked him, which of course he concurred later, that some of the hatred you see against Biafra is not because of anything we may have done. They are afraid of what we, what they know that we are likely to become. Because if Biafra we are to stand, we will build an aeroplane. We will build many cars. We will build skyscrapers. There is nothing a white man is doing that we cannot do. Therefore, some people don't want this country to rise from Africa. But perhaps some of you are content with living the lives of semi slaves in America. But me, I'm not. Do we know we are semi slaves here? That you are here on voluntary slavery. Yes. Are you aware of that? Yes. They came and took our ancestors, brought them here for 200 years of free labor. And after that, you volunteered yourself to continue where they left off. Very shameful and disgraceful. That is why in IPOB we have honor and we have dignity. That is why we know that our world can only be measured not only by the restoration of Biafra, but how well we go on to build Biafra. Biafra will not be like any other users of African country, I assure you. Can anybody tell me what the front is contribute to Nigeria? Terrorism. Do you know the population? Do you know the population? And they are terrorizing all of us. Instead of us to join hands together and repel them and fight them, we engage in bickering and fighting like people who cannot reason very well. All the Japan and Navy. The full of this, we are away from Europe. I can understand it. They are the lowest of the low. They drive cattle. They sleep with their cattle. They drink the urine of their cattle. And they are your lords and your masters. And you allow such nonsense to continue. You condone such idiocy. And then you 
you rise up and tell me I live in America and I'm very proud. But never again. It's a good thing to dance before. Please don't want anybody. <laughs> because when I preach, there is hardly any good news in it. But the good news I'm giving you today is that Biafra must come. Biafra yeah. must come. Biafra yeah. must come. Yeah. You have another assignment apart from Washington 2020. You are going to pay for what we are going to do at home. We are going to pay. We want you to fund this very movement. I want America to fund IPOB. Can you do that? I can't do my baby, I'm enjoying it. That can't do my baby. Come on, you can't do my baby, but I can't. Today, I've told you how much you have contributed in your defense fund, and I'm sure that case is now buried completely. You are going to pay one dollar every month. Yes. No, 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 one dollar. Gabriel Malita. I'm a Gabriel uh, one dollar is tax deductible, is that correct? Yes. So in actual fact, we will use the legal means of getting Uncle Sam to fund the after restoration. Exactly, correct. Uh, those outside can't be angry, there are too many people outside. But why did we get to such a, a place that cannot take us? I can't have a stadium. We are going to the stadium. Many people are outside and they are upset. Because at last our people understand the truth we are preaching. They understand it. And they are responding accordingly. They must not be upset. What do we do about this? Help restore Biafra. 
and not waste your contributing it. You're calculating how many people there are in New Jersey. Only can you find in New Jersey? Too many. People are coming in, but we have no more space, so they have to stand. Because if we announce the nation, the nation now, we have ever had it. The world can the same. We are one family, and the Afro must be restored. Oh, come on, man. Your baby here started complaining. They were asking me, do you have the keys to heaven? And I said, yes, that I do. That that heaven is the Afra. Because our Lord prayed and he said, as it is in heaven, so shall it be on this day. So if there is heaven somewhere in heaven, there will look at it's also heaven here on this very earth. Yes. And that heaven is the Afro. Yes. Do we have any doubt? No. Do we have any doubt? No. We are not we are big on. Any group we are going to Washington, July the third, twenty twenty. Are you coming with us? Yes. Are you coming with us? Yes. Oh, we know that you group. I got there. I got you there. From, we should say from next month, every Piafra adult in the USA must set up a direct debit of Yes. to contribute tax deductible one one dollar every blessed month. That's all we need from you. And then you watch the zoo crumble. If you have more than that, you can also give. Need not imagine that to the young again. So far, has IPOB done well in defending you back home? Yes. Has IPOB done well in defending you back home? Yes. Then you have no reason or excuse not to support us. Therefore, I say to all of you here gathered today. that what we are fighting for is not just self-determination. What we are fighting for is our freedom. We are fighting for the right to live as free men and free women in the land of our ancestors. The same way our ancestors occupied that very land for over 5,000 years, so shall we occupy it for another 5,000 years. I conclude this evening by praying because some of you have some questions which I must answer. That you go to Kabiyama, that started IPUB, because I did not. That the same Chuko the Kabiyama that gave us BSS that evil men destroyed. The same Chuko the Kabiyama that kept us alive up until this very day will not only hear our prayers. But will give us Biafra in our lifetime. Yeah. Oh, yes, my Biafra, I am Biafra. I am Biafra. I am
We are going to march in this country that the world may know who we are, that the world may know we live in this very country, that humanity may bear testimony to the fact that eight people from Africa came here and decided to stake a claim for their freedom in the land of the free. And that any obstacle, be that man-made nor spiritual, standing in the way of Biafra, that very entity will fall. Yeah. We have no need for Nigerians because we are their friends and one day Nigeria will be obliterated from the face of this very earth yeah. never to come back anymore yeah. therefore I say to you here gather may the spirit of the almighty creator of the heavens and the earth you will be called dwell within you and upon you, preserve and keep you, that you may all be alive to witness the coming of Biafra. Immediately he will. But if it's the one that requires you to, because a lot of people are going to come and ask the same thing over and over. So, uh, those that were given numbers, I don't know, do you have somebody who has a number one that wants to ask a question? What's your number? Number one? 
All right, copy. Straight to the question, no talking. One minute. That's two minutes. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. <laughs> oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Director, I want to welcome you to me. You're welcome. The God of heaven who sent you to us. <laughs> and we pray before we do anything. Because you will have no chance. Thank God for all of you who came. I hope you come and join us in the meeting. Not to come and take picture with the director. Good morning. <laughs> My question, sir. <laughs> is it possible that you have in a second really, where those of us are not coordinators will be able to share? Would you? Okay. All right, another thing is, let me be very plain this time. We want question, because like as I'm here now, I've heard so much, I'm a member of my POV. So it's very, very, uh, very unselfish of us to try to bring IPOB members to ask questions. We want strangers, people who are not members of IPOB that need to ask questions. Okay, let me, I can see a hand up there. Are you, you are, are, are you are you are number two. Are you a member of IPOB? Yes. Yes. Then we don't need you to ask questions. We want those who are not members of IPOB to ask questions. Yes. All right. I am not being uh, because there's nothing uh, we as IPOB members will ask that we've not really heard before or know. You want to want to ask questions? Go ahead. Man. Well, the number, do not say, I'm not, I'm not jumping numbers. What we are saying is that if you are a member of IPOB already, and you have a number, you are not going to ask any question. We want those who are not members to ask this question. Close to you, 
Russia or China. Israel is in Here we are in Africa. 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 Russia, they are both the same. But they are the lead fighters. One of the lead players. Although at the unique time, because America and Britain, all can do it. They are both the same. They are both the same. Thank you. All right. Uh, I don't know. I can't get the question, but. I think all I do, I will leave you with this microphone and lose this one. Thank you. Um, your question is in order, but you also answered it as well. Because we are we to start advertising every step that we take, our enemies will take exactly those same steps to counter it. So, but I can assure you that you are the ones holding us. I'm telling you this. You people in the USA are the ones holding us, putting us back anyway. Come to Washington, July 3rd, 2020, and then ask me four weeks from then. But I can assure you, there will be no need for any further questions. Come to Washington, and then you see what will happen. Thank you. So those who are coming from the outside who are the members, uh, I need to give them priority. All right, my brother. Uh, okay, we'll get to you later, man. That's all my job. Real quick, one minute. Uh, thank, okay. thank you, Max. Um, uh, it's a privilege to be a uh, miss this evening. My name is Chido Um Recently, no other Congress never told in their own place. Talking to lawmakers. Talking to lawmakers. And people of governance there. Do you intend to follow this line of strategy? Also, is there a plan to plan in the pipeline to consistent strategy with different groups in this struggle? And also, and also the first one. Did you include the Boston, Massachusetts? That's where I come from. I know most of us have contributed. All right. Uh, thank you very much. You said people came to meet um, United States government uh, who? Government? Yes. Senators. I don't lie. What I can't do, I will tell you I can't do it. I can't lie in the name of Biafra. Um, I don't discuss individuals nor groups. You have a model. What are they Massachusetts contributed. And um, where's, where's my phone? It's a good question you asked. In the whole of US, 
in the whole of the United States of America, only Massachusetts contributed the money that we actually received in Germany. Okay. Only. Can you hear me? Defense fund, defense fund, defense fund. Only IPOB in Massachusetts, a few of them contributed. The rest paid their money into is it Bank of America? Bank of America, USA. That swallowed the money. The same people who are gossiping, and we are those that collected their money and ate it. Are you hearing me? Yes. They don't pay monthly dues. The same people inboxing you gossip. They are the ones that ate the money belonging to me, the other and the wife. Yes. They paid over a thousand dollars. And some of these people here. They still have the temerity to lie and to ask about defense funds that they themselves never contributed to. To cover to. My dear brother, nobody came to see any senator for information. And they are not fighting for Biafra. I am not part of any constitutional amendment in the zoo. I am for Biafra. And dead to be sued, God, Nigeria. Okay, uh, um, what's the number? Are you my mom? Thank you. Just 
take it there by a priest. Because they are the vice president of people who are in No. If I can not do it, I will say, I will say, I will say, I It is good. We want help. I can hear more from you. Are you working alone? No. Do you have people who are working with you that are going to, to work in the works? What do I mean by working the works? There are people who we bring awareness, maybe to the Britain, maybe to the United States, maybe to the United Nations, that these people are tired and they want to be on their own. Do you have people like that within you?
can start IPOB family. You don't need instruction, permission from anybody. Wherever you are, start IPOB. Are you following me? Yes. And nothing will happen to you, I assure you. Now, my busy Philadelphia. And so you join up with her. Because IPOB is the largest family in the world. Yes. As an IPOB family member, if you travel to Russia, people will receive you. What you eat is there. Where you sleep is there. Do you understand? Yes. That is something people don't quite appreciate about us. When you come inside, you will marvel. But from outside, it seems that nothing is happening. A lot is happening inside. Yes. Thank you. All right, uh, let me see. Okay, come on. Thank you, very brief.